is Sassoon Bay. There's a big old ship going by me. I thought I'd grab it. We're uh, heading down to my honey hole on Sassoon Bay on Thursday, March 19, 2009. We have to share these waterways with some of the big boys. That's one of them right there. I'll pan off over this direction. Somewhere way off there is the Bump Ball Fleet and my little honey hole, which is a thin view. And that's it for now. Well, here we are streaking back home for Sassoon Bay. Uh, I mean, on Sassoon Bay. Uh, I caught myself a nice little. 50-inch uh, sturgeon. It's about one o'clock right now. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news is I dropped my uh, $400 camera overboard while trying to take a picture of that sturgeon. <laughs> yeah, well, the you know, fishing for sturgeon ain't cheap. Now it really ain't cheap. So here we are, streaking for. Brandon Island, having left, or in the process of leaving uh, uh, Garnett Point area of Sassoon Bay. Anyway, here's a little look-see of the, of the uh, helm of my boat. I need to drop this engine down a little bit. We're getting a little bit too choppy. I had to drop that that uh, engine tilt. Yeah, I need a little more, I guess. So, I don't know if this is real visible, but on my trip out, I uh, saved the route. Now I'm following the right route home. I just can't hold the camera very steady on this water. So anyway, there'll be more later. Bye for now. There's my sturgeon for this trip. I hope it shows very well. That's 50 inches and uh, 27 pounds. Not much as sturgeon goes. But that's what I caught. Well, here I am back aboard the motorhome. It's about 3.30. It's been a good day. As... Uh, seen in the earlier clips I had a good day out on Sassoon Bay. The trip down uh, it became pretty breezy once we got to Sassoon and we uh, dealt with a bit of chop. I discovered that my new boat just goes through that chop beautifully because of its its deep V design uh, and a rather broad beam fairly heavy boat for its size we got to my honey hole down on Sassoon Bay, and I was ahead of the uh, current by a couple of hours. Uh, it was still on the incoming when I got there, and I was planning on fishing the outgoing, but I fished, I fished it anyway. There was a lot of hassle dealing with the swinging back and forth and the breeze and the, uh, and the current going the wrong direction and all, but we managed to... Uh, fish for a couple of hours, but once it got turned around and you had the outgoing, the wind also dropped down nicely and we had a very nice day. And that's when the little 50-inch, uh, 27-pound sturgeon hit. So we gave he gave us a good fight for about 10 or 15 minutes. We got him to the boat and decided to go ahead and keep him since he's the first one aboard my new boat. So that means I've got one down and two to go for the whole year, and this is only March. But uh, most of my fishing will be in the fall for sturgeon, so I can still do two more. Uh, we came back on up the river after, after the catch and after we got the cleaned up and put away. That's the good news, catching the sturgeon. The bad news, I want to take a photo of myself holding the sturgeon with my uh, still camera, my digital. It's about a $450 camera. And I set it up on the 
top of the outboard motor, which I've done many times on other boats, and I had a non-slick surface underneath the camera, I bent down to pick up the uh, sturgeon and pose for the photo, and I turned around to face the camera, and the camera was gone. So that's the price of stupidity. And Lord knows I've paid it many times, so now I have to buy another digital camera. But that still doesn't take the glow off of a good day of fishing down on Sassoon Bay and having yet another sturgeon. We came back up river. Uh, it was a very nice drive. It was nice and warm and sunny. It takes about an hour to go down or back, and that makes for a good trip. We'll be here tonight here in the motorhome. Tomorrow morning we'll be, we'll be uh, loading up the boat to the motorhome and heading for home. So it's been a good day and that's about it for now. Bye-bye.